hi and welcome to my channel memoirs of an empress a silver lining today i'm going to be discussing black china china's uh her transformation or her transition um you know it is a beautiful thing when we remember our names and we remember who we belong to. It's a beautiful thing. And March was Women's History Month. And I thought it was so epic. It was huge that a celebrity that had been uh, wearing the, the spirit of the Baphomet, that she would put on Christ and she would publicly make a declaration that she had given her life to the Lord. This was very huge, guys, because this is Satan's world. And so the world is fond of its own. It takes great heart and great courage to step out of the crowd. It takes great heart and great courage and bravery to leave only fans when you're making a large amount of money. You know, um, I was following her on Instagram and I was just reading her testimony and I was rejoicing and I was like, oh my gosh, the angels are rejoicing. Here it is, all these celebrities and all these people, women, are leading their children straight to the pole, straight to nothing, a dead end, as China, Black China called it, a dead end, yes. You know, um, we're living in a society that glamorizes newness and showing everything, not leaving anything to the imagination. And I can't believe when I look and I see some pastors and they might post on Instagram like happy birthday to their daughter and their daughter's half dressed and they have the nerve to post these things. And it's like, we read the word of God and we see that God is holy and we should be holy. And it's hard to walk that line to follow Christ. But we know right from wrong. And the world, because it's run by Satan, it's saturated in an atmosphere that glamorizes sin. And so for this young lady to step out and be set apart and publicly declare that she gave her life to Christ and share the most beautiful pictures of her baptism. I just thought it was something that was awesome and that it was not spoken about enough. And so I wanted to speak about it on my platform. She has the power to lead a generation of women out here that need it so bad. She has the power to lead a generation of little girls that the atmosphere is sapping their innocence. It's just taking their innocence. And I pray that God give her the strength to stick with it because sometimes she might not feel celebrated. When you do God's will and you do what is right, the world is not happy. So you won't be as popular but the thing is oh my gosh my my fiance is in here and he is snoring away guys i'm trying to do this live and he's snoring away he is asleep he works at night so please forgive me forgive him for snoring i'm gonna wake him up hold on guys hi baby i love you you snoring away daddy But anyway, um, you know, I wanted to touch base 
on this video. I actually, guys, got two videos done. I'm in the laundromat, and I actually had time today to do two videos. How amazing. Um, but I wanted to say that um, our daughters need to see more of this. Now, I wanted to actually dissect this spirit of the Baphomet because... <laughs> When I was reading her Instagram, I love the way she outlined what the Baphomet meant. See, so many times we get tattoos, and I will always use myself as an example. I'm one of them too. I have a tattoo on my arm, and when I went to get it, uh, the guy told me that it says, I love God. But honestly, I can't read Chinese. I really don't know what it says. But when we get symbols or when we get anything and we don't know the meaning of it, it's very bad. So she dissected what the Baphomet meant. And um, she said she was going to get, she was getting her Baphomet tattoo removed. And she showed you, you know, the process. And to get a tattoo removed is very painful, guys. It's even more painful than when you actually get the tattoo. And so um, people are texting me this morning. Glory to God. I'm just so happy to see everyone uh, texting me. But anyway, um, I'm sorry, guys. But but sh when she wrote about what that Baphomet tattoo meant, not the tattoo, but the actual Baphomet, it was, you have to read about it because it was deep. And um, that is the spirit that's in these women of the world. That is the spirit and so um, we don't want to be attached to anything like that. You know, we don't want to be attached to any dark spirits, spirits that want to rob us of our, you know, abundant life that God has set before us. We don't want to be robbed of that. See, the enemy creates an illusion and it looks like it's real. But we know that the only things that are real, that are the things written in God's word. They are the only things that you can put 100% on. You know that God's word will never come back void. It will always come back 100%. And so, um, you know, I remember a time where, um, you know, I used to go to um, the club and I would leave. You know, I would leave sometimes, you know, and... Um, just have like a one night stand. You know, I remember things like that happening and I remember feeling so empty. I remember feeling so empty and so hurt. And sometimes, you know, um, I would get pursued by the person, but I would realize that our spirits were not aligned. And so it was like, it didn't fulfill me. And um, in this world, there's a lot of women and they are walking unfulfilled. But the thing is, if you keep following the enemy and all of these illusions that he's painted, then you will be unfulfilled. You know, family life is beautiful. Um, marriage is beautiful. Uh, children, you know, are beautiful. These things are, are God's gift and they are priceless and God has them for us. And so... Um, in this dark world where everything is so salacious and nasty and, you know, uh, marriage is very scarce, you know, it's a lot of friends with benefits, so they say, going on. But the real benefit is not there. And um, a lot of women are empty. We have to learn to raise our standards. We have to learn to set a standard. We have to learn to raise the bar. We have to, you know... Uh, uh, raise our calibers, so to speak, um, and know our worth. You know, when you know your worth, it's everything. And how more important to set the example for our daughters, for our daughters that are watching, set the example. You know, beauty can only go so far. You know, it's more it's, it's greater to be beautiful from within, from be to be beautiful from within and shine inside out, you know. And I'm not saying that, you know, you can't dress nice or aim to be beautiful, of course, but aim to be beautiful on the inside as well. You know, these celebrities are leading 
our daughters down a dark path and um they're just getting paid off of it but i'm so happy that someone stepped up i always like black china um even when you know before she gave her life to the lord i used to like um certain styles that she would have like i like a lot of wigs and i like a lot of wig colors and i just used to like that and i think she's far more prettier without all the fillers in her face she's just a pretty girl and so the picture with her being baptized it just gave me so much joy that there is still you know a lot to hope for in this world even you know this dark world is thirsting this dark world is hungry but glory to god god is the type of god you guys where he doesn't leave any of us he does not leave any of us if he has 99 sheep and one is missing he is that great shepherd that will go back for one and no matter what we've done in the past, we can come to God and ask for repentance and he will mercifully give it to us. He is a great God. We don't want to be the type of woman to tear down our own our homes with our own hands to uh, set a bad example. And, you know, I posted a picture on my Instagram recently with um, a whole testimony behind it because there was a time where I was in the world as well. And... um. I used to wear like little skimpy things and things like that. And I just, you know, I had to, I had a point in my life where I got very low and I had been married for so many years. And, um, you know, I don't want to talk about that right now, but that ended in adultery. And after so many years of marriage, you know, I went out into the world and I'll never go back. I mean, and I pray to God that I always have the strength to walk with him because that, time in the world you know um it really showed me what this world has come to and it's very dangerous out there it's very dangerous and so once again i'm just so happy that this young lady had the strength you know and i'm thankful to god glory to god for bringing her back into the fold um i want to just wish you guys the best today have a blessed day and as you know here on my channel, um, I always say there's a silver lining in everything. It's all how you look at it. There's a silver lining in everything. And so um, we're opening our spiritual eyes, ladies. We're being empowered. And we are uh, just seeing the glory of God with our spiritual eyes. In a dark world, this thirsting, there's still light. There's still light. And as long as you shine the light within yourself and um, shine it for others, we're going to do just fine. I'm sure of it. You know, our goodness and mercy will follow us because God is our portion. God is our portion. And he is our great shepherd. He is our heavenly father. So I love you guys. Peace, love, love and light. I'm sorry about my boo-boo snoring, but love and light, guys. See you tomorrow with another great topic.